I want to talk about making positive changes in your life. I want to share my journey. There's been so many pieces of my life that have led me to this point. Who are you? Pursue your purpose. Hey, it's Suinda at Her Clear Path. It's the last week of 2021. This time of year is usually filled with talk about resolutions and goals and what we want to accomplish in the new year and intentions and just all of our wants and desires for what we want to see happen in the new year. I'm definitely making plans for a very positive and improved 2022. I'm not immune to the craziness that we have been living through. Everything that has happened in this year and last year, I mean, just the world, it seems like it's on fire. And everything that's happening, everything that's going wrong, all of the new things that are getting thrown into the equation, it's overwhelming and it's scary and complex and it's so much bigger than me. So I completely can understand if you're feeling overwhelmed, lost, discouraged, or just like giant question mark. Like, I don't even know what to do or how to navigate. My goal with this video is just to encourage you, to motivate you, to tell you that you can and that you're capable, and to give you a few suggestions for how you can make positive changes in your life, whether that be one tiny change in this new year, or if you're like me and you have a whole spreadsheet of changes that you want to make and goals that you want to set for yourself, you can, and I'm going to show you first how I set up mine and just a few steps that I think are going to be helpful if you want to get into the mindset of making positive changes in your life. So you want to change something in your life. You want to start this new chapter, this new year with some kind of goal or dream in mind. I'm going to give you four steps that are going to help you no matter what the change, no matter what area of your life, whether it be health, career, relationships, these are the four things that you need to do in order to achieve change. Okay, numero uno, decide to change. Make the decision. Say, okay, I'm going to change this. Say, say the words. Let's say you want to change your eating habits. I'm going to change my eating habits in 2022. Say it out loud. I'm going to improve my, insert the blank, this year. I'm deciding to change. Why is this so powerful? Because a lot of times we talk and talk and talk about what we don't like. We will go on and on and on. I don't like this. I wish this was different. But we're in control of certain things that we can change in our life. So if you're in control of it, make the decision and say, okay, this is the year. I'm deciding today. This is the year I'm going to make the change. And listen, the other reason why this is so powerful, it's so simple but so powerful, is because a lot of times when we talk about something that we don't like or that we want to change, we hesitate and that self-doubt starts to creep up and it's like, mm, I want to change but, I wish I could but, you know, or the, the excuse that everybody has used at least once or 17 times in their whole life, I don't have time. No. You make time for what's important to you. You prioritize for what's important to you. So just decide if this thing that you're thinking of that you want to make a positive improvement or a positive change in your life, if it's that important to you, decide to change it. Number two, commit to the decision. Listen, we as human beings break the commitments to ourselves very often. And it's really, it's a lack of discipline or a lack of self trust honestly because if we make a commitment to ourselves we are in charge of keeping it we're the ones who have to follow through with that and sometimes follow through is hard if somebody made a promise to you or a commitment to you and then broke it you're gonna hold them accountable hey you said you were gonna do this and you didn't we're so quick to hold other people accountable but when it comes to ourselves we allow ourselves to break commitments to us all the time and we need to stop that because we show up for work on time every day. We show up to places on time. We go to events. We cook meals. We do things for others all the time. And when we say we're going to do it, we do it. But when we say about our own self, I want to make this change. This is for me. Break it every time. 
If you can't trust yourself, how's anybody else going to trust you? If you can't make a commitment and keep a commitment to yourself, how will you ever accomplish anything in life? So this might be, it's easy to say, I know it's not easy to do, but you have to make a commitment that this is something you want to change. You've decided you're going to change it and you're going to commit to that decision. Number three, believe that you can change. Let me tell you, I said earlier that self-doubt creeps up and it's so easy to listen to those little voices. You can't do that. You've never tried this before. You don't know what you're doing. Figure it out. You can. You can figure it out. You can make it happen. You can commit to yourself. You can make the change. You are capable. You can. I'm telling you. I'm rooting for you. I know that you can. And deep, deep down, you know that you can. You are capable of doing anything that you want in life ever you're capable you're capable you just have to believe that and and maybe there are a lot of thoughts in your mind of things that people have said or spewed out to you about how you're useless you're no good you could never you won't you can't 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 yes you can you can and you will because you're going to make that decision and you're going to commit to yourself and you're going to stick to your commitment and forget whatever so and so is saying or whatever whoever the hell told you that you can't or that you won't or that you never will or that you're always going to be who you are today don't worry about them because these are the same people who are going to come back after you've accomplished what you have asking you how you did it so believe believe that you can you are capable of anything you can and step number four is to take action you've made a decision you've made a commitment to yourself you know you can do it so do it take the action now let me tell you in my own life I categorize my life I'm gonna show you in this video how I categorize my life I have a lot of areas that I want to improve and so I'll put it up here on the screen. I created a wheel or a cycle of every single category of my life, all of me. And I labeled every single one of these slices of the pie that are me. These things, these categories make up areas in my life that I want to improve or that I have a task to complete or I have something I want to do in every area or get better at in every area of my life. And for me, this is helpful to see it in this way. And then from here, I'm going to take these, break them down. And I like to use Google Keep. I'm going to show you here on the screen. Google Keep is basically like a big cork board with a bunch of post-its on it on the computer or in your pocket on your phone. And the cool thing about it is any computer or device that you log into on your Google account, you can access your Google Keep. So no matter where you are, you'll always be able to go and look at your corkboard you know with all of your goals and all of your areas of your life that you want to improve so I've typed up here all of the areas and these are my actual areas of my life and these are my actual you know uh, improvements that I want to make and notice that I've typed them in the format of I will improve I will grow I'm going to change because I'm already starting with the positive self-speak and I'm speaking it into existence and I'm manifesting it even as I'm creating these goals. And I recommend the same for you. Google Keep is free. It comes with any Google email address that you have. Um, I showed you earlier how to access Google. I'll put it here again, how you can access Google Keep through like the little nine square box up in the corner of your browser. You might have to scroll all the way down if you've never used it before, but as I show you here, you can drag it up Put it first or put it wherever on you know this little menu that you want it to be for easy access google keep also has its own app that you can download on any mobile device i have it on all my devices highly encourage you and recommend that you use it too it's free why not now you'll see in my example my personal example these are pretty big areas of my life and i'm not just going to leave it as oh here's all my goals <laughs> because they're too big they're too huge you have to break them down. How am I going to accomplish this goal? I would recommend if this is your first time breaking out your goals or the one thing you want to change, you know, let's say you want to change your environment. You feel too messy, too cluttered. 
I feel you, okay, we're right here. So maybe the thing that you wanna change is all the clutter. You wanna use this year to declutter and give yourself a more peaceful environment. Okay, well that's a big thing. How can you accomplish that? Let's list out just brain dump. List out what are some different things that you can do to accomplish that goal. And so I'll use my example here of, you know, the, the humanitarian category in my life. I want to change the world and I know that I'm just one person and maybe only a little bit of the world I'll get to change, but I still want to make the effort to try. And the way that I want to try is by volunteering at, you know, a local place that does something for a cause that I'm passionate about. And so I need to do a little bit of research. I think, you know, with everything that's going on with the world, you've got climate change, you've got poverty, you've got hunger, you've got Black Lives Matter, you've got the LGBTQ plus community. There are a lot of different um, areas that need improved in this world, you know, a lot of different things. And so you could find an organization or a place near you that does something or offers volunteer opportunities where you can help a little bit in any of these areas. And so I encourage you to do that if you want to, if that's a goal that you have for yourself. It's a goal that I have for myself. And so here I've shown you, these are the steps that I'm going to take. And I'm not saying that I'm gonna volunteer weekly or once a month. This is gonna be a little bit different and new for me. So I've given myself the whole first three months of the year, which is the first quarter of the year, to do one volunteering opportunity, one event. And you know what? I think that's plenty of time for me to complete the steps in this uh, task or in, under this goal. I think one event in three months is doable. I'm not trying to stretch myself too thin because remember I still have all these other categories that I need to break down and things that I want to improve on or grow or do better at. So I'm not going to make myself, you know, strictly stringently follow some schedule that I'm eventually going to break because it's too hard. You want to make your goals achievable and reasonable with your lifestyle. Using the example of decluttering, let's say that your goal is the first week of January, the first week. Take one thing out of your room that you want to donate and put it in a box or a bag. That box or that bag will become your donate bin. And your goal for the first week of January is just one thing. Choose one thing to donate, put it in that box. And once you've accomplished that, you, you've you already met a goal. One step towards decluttering your home or your room or your office or wherever you wanna declutter. If that's the goal, you know, in the example that I'm using, if that just happens to be your goal. Whatever your goal is, it starts super duper small, almost like you're cheating. You know, if you want to drink more water in your life, and I use this example in my blog post um, for this week, if you want to drink more water, just set a goal. The first week of the year, I'm going to drink one glass of water in the first week. And you're going to be thirsty throughout the whole week. So just grab a cup of water instead of a soda that one time, and boom, you've already made a step towards your goal. And then maybe the second week, switch it to two. You know, or if that first week it was really difficult for you to pick one thing to donate or to drink that one cup of water, then try the same goal again the next week. Second week of January, one cup of water. And keep doing that one cup of water until you realize that you want a second cup of water. You're ready to increase it. Now do two cups of water a week, you know? Or maybe you want to read more. Start with one book, one minute a week. Set your Alexa, set your timer. I want to read for one minute. Sit there, read for one minute, and then get up and walk away. You did it. You accomplished your goal. And some of us need it to be this easy to start, or we won't start at all. And I get that. Everyone is not motivated and self-disciplined to say, I'm doing this cold turkey seven days a week, every single day, waking up at 5 a.m. Let's, let's be understanding and give ourselves grace and understand that we're human. If you're watching this video, you're probably not all that disciplined because I'm not all that disciplined and it takes time to build a habit or to make a change. So give yourself grace, give yourself the flexibility to move within your goal, to ingrain it into your lifestyle. You're not gonna change your whole life overnight.
start small and celebrate every time you meet that goal, no matter how tiny it is. Celebrate. Give yourself a celebration, a happy dance, an extra large Starbucks drink instead of the medium or whatever. I don't know the sizes, venti grande, whatever. <laughs> Get your drink as your celebration or whatever you want to celebrate with. But celebrate. And you don't have to tell anybody. Nobody has to know because you don't need to give anybody the opportunity to judge your goal or to judge what you're doing or to judge your celebration. Keep it just for you. If this commitment is about you, this change that you want to see in your life, make it about you and give yourself that joy. You're going to feel better. You're going to feel more confident. You're going to want to accomplish even more goals once you realize how capable you actually are. And you know what? The more of a better person you become, the more of a better world we live in. Now, life is full of things that we can't control, specifically other people. We can't control or change other people. We can only change ourselves and our reactions to the world and to these other people. So take this life that you have, this life that you're given, this period of time that you have, and make it the best. Take control back. Live the life you want. Do only the things that you want to do, that you have to do to keep your commitment to yourself. Why not make a positive change? Why not do better? What's stopping you except for you, your own mind, your own self-doubt? Throw it away. Don't hesitate. You can be better. You can live a better life. You can be happier, more joyful, more peaceful. You just have to decide. Decide, commit, believe, and take action. You can do it. If you found this video helpful, definitely hit that like, subscribe button. Check out my other social media channels in the description below. If you like the wheel that I created with all the categories of my life, you can have it for free. The link is in the description. Also check out my blog post. It's linked there too. I'm so thankful that you're here and that you've watched up to this point. Definitely subscribe. And hey, I'm rooting for you. You can make the positive change. I know you can. Believe it. You'll see. Nail. Nail. And now. Anyway. Or something different that you want to text from my mom, excuse me. This time of year, we're usually t uh, another text from my mom. Numero uno, step number one make the decision. Okay, so I haven't cleaned my office, I'm going to today, but I, you know, wanted to film this video so.